All right, today's mission, I'm trying to save some money. This uh, keeper bolt broke again. It happened once before and Bobcat replaced it. Uh, I got it on the ropes. Phil was gonna come and help me tomorrow or the next day, but I was feeling antsy. So by manipulating this boom, I got it out to where now I could see the hole. Okay, so now I just gotta get a screwdriver or something and get that hole back lined up pound it back in and get a new bolt. I think I got that on the ropes. Now the second thing is this bottom zerk is not taking grease. All right, so real quick, this is what my boom was doing. I had a bad squeak to it and it took a while to troubleshoot and figure out that the grease zerk was bad, but take a listen for yourself. <laughs> I replaced it, I've used the uh, grease buster, I pulled the zerk out, I shot PB penetrating all up in there and it still ain't taking grease. Okay, so this video is courtesy of Lock and Lou, but that's the kind of grease buster I've got. So he's got it in his hand here. So there's an empty piston, you fill it with uh, penetrating oil or diesel fuel or something, and then you put the cap back on, you put it on your stuck grease zerk and you hammer it very lightly. You don't want to like sledgehammer it. The vibration is supposed to work in your penetrating oil and break through and open up the grease zerk. So I tried this several times. Um, even like I said, after pulling the, putting a new grease zerk on, shooting it with penetrating oil, and this just wasn't working. So we may have to try and pull the cylinder off. I'll definitely wait for Phil if I try that, so we'll see, but we'll see if I can get this one. All right, I tried a rebar and bolts in there and tried to turn that. That ain't turning. So I threw some more grease on it, and I was able to get it lined up uh, by manipulating the boom, going up real slow and then dropping it real fast. It would move that pin a little bit at a time. So it's lined up. I sh should just have to sledge it in if it goes straight and I'll be good to go. All right, so I'm speculating here because I don't know the answer to this hypothetical, but if I'd have taken it to the Bobcat shop and they did what I did, I mean, I tried like five or six times with the grease buster and it wasn't working. Uh, my guess is that they would have wanted to pull that pin and maybe clean out and spray that whole end of that piston where the grease um, sits in there, you know, at a hundred and some bucks an hour. So... I'm thinking I was able to save some money on this visit, but either way, it's a learning curve. I learned uh, how to use that grease buster, not only that, but also to change your grease positions. Changing the positions actually makes a difference in busting through that clogged grease zerk. And also with that main boom pin, you know, their protocol might have been to just go ahead and pull it out, either clean it or replace it, you know, again at 100 and something an hour. All right, we got double winner, winner, chicken dinner. I was about to give up on that grease zerk, and I thought, you know what? Let me try moving the boom, all, you know, to far extremes, you know, to, to change the pattern of the grease and whatnot. So I brought the boom all the way up, which is one of the moves I had to do to get that lined up. And then I did the uh, grease buster again, and by golly, the piston was going down on the grease buster. And now I just hit it with the grease gun and it's it made it all the way out where it needs to be now. So, yes, double prizes.